Shopping Shenanigans Squad. Welcome to Shy Shenanigans, and it's your girl Shy Shenanigans back with my first banker. This is crazy and it feels surreal for real. Before we get into this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on your post notifications because you don't want to miss a beat. Did y'all hear me though? Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on your post notifications because you don't want to miss a beat. I promise. You don't want to miss it. Like, turn them on. Turn them on. First of all, thank y'all for 100 subs before I even drop the video. Like, my mind is blown. Like, y'all really, that made me feel some type of way. I'm not even gonna lie. And I'm not gonna cry. I really appreciate it. I really, really appreciate it, like, so much. And I want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart because that really gave me the push and the drive to just drop a video and really see if I really have supporters. And it's obvious that I really still do. So thank you guys for that. The shenanigans today is we are about to do an introduction video, of course, slash a q and I got a couple questions from you guys from my Instagram and i'm going to answer about 15 of those today so if you guys are ready let's get into the video okay guys so first things first introduction my name is shania bennett i'm from rochester new york currently living in houston texas that sums it up for right now because the questions are going to answer anything that i would have already said right now so yeah we're gonna get into the questions now question number one is how old are you i am 22 i'm turning 23 this year my birthday is august 7th and i am an august leo period all my leos where you at and question number two is are you single yes i am single i've been single for a little while now y'all probably remember me from can shy shenanigans i was a channel that i did with my ex and um yeah we broke up um and she moved back to Rochester. So I've been here by myself and it's been different, but I think it was for the best for us to break up because it was a lot of miscommunication, a lot of miscomprehension. And it's just like, we didn't really understand each other or wants or needs and stuff like that. So it was just going like a down spiral and it was just too much fussing and fighting and stuff. So the relationship was just dead, you know? So we made the decision to just, you know, go our separate ways and, you know, it ended on really bad terms, but I had time to really like think about it and be by myself. I really wish her the best and I hope that she's blessed on the journey that she's about to go down, but that's really all I have to say about it. No more questions about it, guys. That's it. If y'all want to know, watch this video because I have nothing else to say about it. Are you talking to somebody new? <laughs> Um, I was talking to somebody new, you feel me? Um, it didn't go in my favor because I'm, I don't know. I just feel like it wasn't giving what was supposed to be gave. Like when I want to mess with somebody, I'm going to tell you like what my intentions is from the start, from the jump, you feel me? And I go out my way for people a lot. So I paid for her to get here. I paid for her to get some weed. I cooked for her. <laughs> I was giving the vibes like I didn't want to feel me jump right into a relationship because no I just wanted to vibe for real but if we vibing it's me and you we only vibing ain't nobody else just me and you. you gotta be for me I feel like you gotta be you know like act like you taking in the talking stage because if you not act like you're taking in the talking stage and you talk to other people why would I want to jump why would I want to jump like it just it, it wasn't giving that so once she left or whatever um she has a hard time with like talking like she will ghost you and not talk and stuff and just be alone and you feel me that was a red flag and i didn't like that so after she left we was cool like we was cool when she left and um it wasn't given like it was a problem or something i need to know about it wasn't given that so i didn't know what was going on so boom whatever um one day she went live on tiktok and she invited me to her life. I don't know if it automatically does that or she picked me to, you know, get invited to the live. I don't know. But, yeah, I was invited, period. So, um, I'm just watching the live. I'm cool and I'm chilling, whatever. And then on the live, um, people were asking, like, are you talking to somebody you're single, whatever. And she said that she had a crush. Oh, okay. Cool. 
um when were you going to tell me that so i'm like okay well if that's that that's fine you feel me like but you could have just said that you didn't want to fuck with me for real because when i asked what was your intention you said you want to fuck me only me how the fuck do we get to that so you know that's why i be saying like i just need to focus on myself and cool out because people be doing weird aki shit and i don't got time because trust me i really don't got time like i really 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 don't got time but still, God bless her. And if that girl is who, who she really want, I wish y'all the best. And I hope y'all be good. You feel me? What are you going to be doing in your channel? What can we expect? Um, well, I'm going to be doing lifestyle vlogs. If y'all don't know, I do dance at a bikini bar. So, you know, that's a new thing for me. And I really like the job. It's really cool. So, if y'all want vlogs like that of me showing y'all my daily you know routines and what i do when i go there and stuff like that i can do videos like that for y'all just comment down below if y'all really want that um of course pranks on my friends and my family um what else can i do i might start doing reaction videos i don't even know how to feel about those but i might um uh i don't know i'm gonna do stuff like that though but i'm really open to, to doing new things you know what i mean like I'm open to do a lot of stuff on this channel because I want to be versatile to really get people's attention. You know what I mean? Because everybody likes something. You can expect bangers. No matter what I'm doing, it's going to be a banger. And that's on period. Are you going to start dating men again? Yikes. Um, right now in my life, um, I really like girls. Like, I really, really like girls. So, I'm probably going to stay on that side for however long if god wants me to be with a man he'll bring a man to me and that's just that he'll know how to deal with me my moods my attitude all that stuff but men the men that i've been with in the past they don't know how to do that women know how to make you feel women know what they're doing you know what i mean but you know either or both sides all have their flaws we're all flawed you feel me nobody's better than nobody that's why you know it is what it is but I don't see myself dating a man right now at all. I don't see myself dating nobody right now at all. But men, I'll pick a woman over a man for right now. You know. Um, um, what do you love and adore about your friends? I love and adore everything about them. Like, those are my babies for real. The friends I have from Rochester and the friends that I have here, I've had friends friendships for over 10 years with some and some are shorter than that but they're just so genuine you know what i mean like i feel so comfortable to be able to talk to them about anything and people say you're not supposed to tell your friends everything but i you know you you know what i mean like you do but you don't at the same time but you do to a certain extent you know what i mean and with us it's no extent like we could talk about anything and nobody's gonna judge nobody nobody's gonna look at nobody different none of that because at the end of the day, what I do love about my friends, let me break it down to you. I love that they're honest. They're always going to tell you if you're right or you're wrong. Putting the friendship aside, they want you to know you need to do something different. Or you need to keep doing what you're doing. They're very determined. They have a great, 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 great connection with God. Anything with him, I'm into it right now because I need him in my life more than anything. And they're all on board with that. So, <laughs> what they say? Friends that pray together, stay together, period. But we go all the way to church every Sunday together, so. They're really dedicated. They're everything. Like, y'all, I can't even put it in words. Like, they're everything a loyal friend should be. That's it. Loyalty, I value everything. You know what I mean? They're all about that. So, that's really all you really need. You be, need to be able to trust your friends, be loyal to your friends, love your friends, and everything else and above. You know what I mean? And that's what they are. That's what they do. They make me feel comfortable. They make me feel stable. I could count on them. My friends are top tier. All my friends that's watching, I love y'all. Like, I can't even explain. I love y'all to death, so. Do you prefer being single? Is it better that way? I do prefer being single for right now because I need time to heal because I'm kind of going through my own little depression right now. So I know that I can't get into another relationship because hurt people hurt people. So I can't do that. Mm -mm. So I do have to be single. But if 
anybody who comes to me like want to be friends first like really getting to know each other and taking it slow then i'm all down for that 100 percent, i'm down to vibe you feel me and our business is our business but it just gotta be us like i'm not sharing i don't like sharing sharing is caring but not with somebody that's messing with me <laughs> like it's not gonna be given that i feel like it is better this way because i can you know have my mental right so when i'm ready to be married in the future to my husband or my wife I can really like, you know, open up to them. I can tell them how I feel and not feel judged or interrogated or something like that. I want to be able to be open for whoever I decide to marry or date or whatever. And I'm not that right now. So, you know, mostly it's just a vibe. I like to vibe. That's what it's giving right now. I'm not looking for nothing, but if it comes to it and it's a vibe and we taking it slow, we understand that's all that matters. Is your next relationship going to be private? Um, yes and no, because I feel like, hmm, like I'll post them like on Instagram and stuff. I don't know how I feel about doing another couple's channel. I don't know. But um, like you'll know who he or she is. You'll know. You don't know what's going on behind closed doors though. You feel me? Like it's not going to be too public to that point. Because I don't want everybody in our business because people from the outside who knew the past you swear they know the new you. So they'll try to be like envious and jealous and try to put something in your partner's ear and make them think different about you but only the strong survive because if you let somebody get in your ear over your partner that's fucked up that is because you're supposed to believe your partner over anything until actions or you see something or something like you just you know you gotta go with what your partner say and if you don't trust your partner you shouldn't be with them in the first place what do you plan on doing in life um like I said, I want to be entrepreneur, public figure, influencer. So that's what I'm really in. And I want to further in my dancing career so that can help me fund everything I need to do. I do want to do a skincare line. Um, that's really something I'm really interested in. I love my skin and I love to take care of everybody else's skin. It's just something I always love to do. And whatever other business comes with that and whatever I think of in the future, it's just that. It's given that because I feel like 2022... Every, this for everybody message PSA you have to be uncomfortable for a while just a little while maybe maybe longer to be comfortable for the rest of your life you know why because once you're uncomfortable people run away from that you stay uncomfortable for a little while trust me nothing is gonna phase you you won't be comfortable to do everything else in your life for the rest of your life if you just be uncomfortable for a little while Trust me, it gets better, but you gotta take that step. You gotta get that uncomfortability to get comfortability. You feel me? It's real, the real no. That's all I gotta say. Do you like men or women more? Like I said, I like women more right now in my life. I'm going to this way. <laughs> nah, though, yeah, women, definitely. Very much so women. Are you happier since you've been single? Um, yes and no. I can get my mental right and I can get my emotions right. So when I'm ready to love again, everything will be how it's supposed to be. Yes, we're going to still have traumas and anxiety and stuff like that. But the right person knows how to deal with you. So that and I say no because sometimes it can get lonely and sometimes you just want somebody here. And I got my friends, yes. But it's moments where I could be around everybody and still feel like i'm in the room alone like i just feel alone in the inside but that's all mental and i'm overcoming that so you know if you know you know do you miss your exes do you have a favorite ex i don't miss none of my exes and i don't have a favorite ex it's not given that because you're an ex like you're out of my life for a reason so i'm not mm -mm, um, mm -mm. no jesus how are you mentally Mentally, in all honesty, um, some days are better than others. Every day is different. You know, some days it's a struggle. Some days it's easy. Um, but I'm really trying to, you know, practice the word of God. Like I said, I've been going to church every Sunday. And I've been just trying to, like, you know, make a way to get myself out of my thoughts because I'm an overthinker so I overthink everything and it's torturous but you know I just really try to stay positive and talk to my people so I don't gotta you know think too much but mentally you know it's a hit or miss right now but I know I'm gonna be better 
with due time, I will be better and I'll be stronger and I'll overcome everything that I'm going through. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on your post notifications because you don't want to miss a beat for the people in the back. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on your post notifications because you don't want to miss a beat. Y'all stay blessed. I love y'all so much and thank y'all so much from the bottom of my heart. This is only the beginning and I'm going to talk to y'all later. Peace.